Good morning, everybody. I have finished the engine. Because, well, some finished the rest of the wiring yesterday. I finished up the fueling system, which everyone knows the concept of and how it was put together and how it w was wired and how it was set to the engine. I only took care of wiring the tanks and everything outside of that because everyone's going to have their own different system for doing that. But this is the building that houses the engine. All finished. Nice and glass windows and everything. The engine is inside this housing. You'd normally use a stronger material to put the housing together so that way if the thing explodes it doesn't destroy everything. But I just used stone because it was the easiest thing. Here's where the power comes out. And you can see the engines inside the housing right there. I need a bit. I really should have made a bigger building. Because this would look cool if you had three engines in a row in a really big building with a housing like this. But this is a proof of concept anyway. Yeah, in a housing where you didn't see this. But oh well. This is a proof of concept engine anyway. I wanted to see if I could get this configuration to work. And yes, I did. So, what we're going to do, and how this thing works, I need to turn these on. This is the coolant switch here. I'm going to call, turn the coolant, uh, coolant on. We should start seeing it come through there soon. And this is the fuel switch, so we're going to turn this on. Oh, let me turn this down. I got my TV going on in the background in my new office. Hooray! Hmm, where is this stuff? Do 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 do. There we go. There comes the coolant. I am noting a problem. It should be in that one too. I'm glad I turned that on early. Well, now where's the fuel? Why isn't the fuel? There's the fuel. Okay, there's the other coolant. Okay, it just took a little while. And here comes the other fuel. And the other lava should follow. I'm not quite sure why it takes it so much longer, but whatever. So what do we have in here? You see the f you see the water coming in. The coolant's coming into the engine now. This window provides a view of it. And you kind of see it through here too, I believe. Yep. By the way, feel free if you haven't started already, go back and rewind this to when I hit these switches and time how long it takes for the system to be primed and ready. I'm gonna have to check that fuel thing there that should be filling up, but I don't know why it's not. That'll be a small issue. Yep, there's that lava. Ah! Stop stuttering game. And mouse. Let's go find out why there's no lava in that other intake pipe. Did I only wire one together? There's the other one. Why is there nothing going into it? Oh. That explains it. And that fixes it, right there. There we go. This is actually meant to be fueled by, um, well, gas. But I don't have any gas refined yet. I don't actually have any gas at all. I have plenty of oil, but no gas. So I'm using lava to start the refining process. And now that I've solved and figured out 
why it wasn't filling up that other one, we can now go upstairs. And like, here's how it looks down here. Ah, oh, good, good, good. That's the return. It's already going up the return. All functioning as it should be. Except for that one little glitch. And I put this back entrance here so it's easier to get in and out of. I haven't put the doors in yet. Now you'll know when it's all set, when like these pipes here, how full they are, those are also full like that. Right now, you can see how little is coming back through. That means not the engines are not filled up yet. I'm hoping this doesn't take 15 minutes to charge. Good god, that would be not very surprising, to be honest, but that would suck. And... why am I still missing stuff? I'm gonna have to go back down there and check that. That's being a bit glitchy. Yeah, it's not showing up yet. Okay, so what seems to be the... that's the holdup. Okay, now we're good. There we go. That's better. But yeah, this is something you'd make out of like reinforced stone. That way if the engines explode, the explosion is contained within the uh, container. Later on, you can see if the engines are overheating or not by looking through these windows, which would have to be reinforced glass. Later on, once uh, those gates are finished, you can actually have it so they automatically shut down if the engine starts to overheat. It also solve a lot of the wiring issues, but oh well, in the meantime, this is it. Most epically over-designed engine yet. We'll see if this actually works. That yeah, water's coming back through. I'm gonna go down there and let's see what this looks like in the basement. Do do do. I need to put a door there too. All the lava. A little bit of feedback. <laughs> this is epic. I think this is epic, at least. Piping, lava, going everywhere. And it's all functioning as it should be. More or less. Yeah. Noting the problem with the uh, shielding is it's only going to protect above it. It's not really going to protect what's below it because of the way the piping is done on this engine. Granted, you could design better fueling systems quite easily. But this is just a proof of concept, not meant to be perfect. This still just looks awesome. Oh. Crappy? That's a bad spot for that. Because you see, whenever these things switch, it's going to switch that. So I'm going to have to kick that out. Of course, I don't actually have anything to kick it out with. So we're going to go retrieve a cobblestone pipe. A copper um, stone pipe. There we go. Stone waterproof pipe. We have to grab one so that that does not screw up and explode the engine later on. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, the sun's setting. So yeah, this is going to take a little while. 
Uh, I will continue this video later on once it is actually charged and ready to go. But we're not quite there yet. It's going to take a little while for this thing to fill everything up. We'll know it's charged when this feedback is completely full. And not just bouncing fuel back, back through. In the meantime, I have to go through here. Oh, I hate to do that while it's running. That must be changed. Can I safely put it... Is this part of the feedback system, isn't it? Yes. Oh good, that's facing the proper direction already. The only problem is now it's going to be bouncing back through there, but I can fix that too. Oh well. Yep. I'm going to end the recording now, and we'll continue the recording when it is fully charged. Okay, see you all, see you all later.